So far, we have discussed how can you issue Vapor deployments directly from your local command line tool. However, you might want to issue deployments directly from a CI platform such as GitHub Actions. So, in this episode, we are going to see how can you configure GitHub Actions to issue Vapor deployments every time someone issues a new commit to the master branch. Now, luckily for us, a few days ago, I have actually added documentation about how to configure GitHub Actions with Laravel Vapor, so I'm going to just add over to deploying from CI and visit the section example with GitHub Actions. And I can see that the first step is actually add the Vapor API token to GitHub. So GitHub can actually authenticate with Vapor while running those GitHub actions. So let's do that. And the first thing I need to do is actually have access to this Vapor API token. And I can do that directly from my Vapor UI. I'm gonna just click on my own name, my profile, and then I'm gonna add over to the section API. Here I have the list of all the API tokens and for example I can see that I'm using an API token to issue a deployments from my local command line tool but I'm going to also generate a new API token so I can issue deployments from my CI platform. So my API token name will be simply CI and I'm going to add it and this will give me the entire API token that I should copy paste because this API token won't be shown again. Now keep in mind that API tokens they do expire so this API, this API token is valid until this date. So I'm going to just copy this click on OK and then I'm going to add over again to GitHub click on settings then I'm gonna scroll all the way down until secrets and I'm gonna click on new repository secret this will ask me for a value which is just the content that I have copy pasted and the name of this secret is exactly the name I have documented in the Vapor documentation. So I'm going to just copy paste this name, add over again to my GitHub UI, copy paste it and add this secret. All right, great. And once my secret is added, I can just move to the second step, which is the creation of the deploy.eml file within this directory. And I'm going to do that um, on the GitHub UI. So I'm going to just click on my project name and then I'm going to add a new file. Now the directory is the one specified on the documentation which is .github workflows and the name of the file you can give the name you want but in this example we are going to give it the name deploy.eml. Now the contents can be for now the ones on the example, but of course you might want to tweak and edit these contents to fit your own needs, uh, such as, for example, you might want to run your test suite directly in this action. So once I have copy pasted the content, I can now commit this new file to the master branch and this by itself should already issue a new deployment because uh, I'm committing to the master branch directory directly. Once I click on uh, commit, uh, I can see that the deploy.eml file was created. Therefore, when I click on actions, normally I should see a deployment being done. I can see that the deployment is being done at this specific moment. So if I click on the action itself, I can click on the detail of the deploy action and I can see, for example, the output of my deployment directly on the GitHub Actions output, which is pretty fantastic that I can see all of this directly on this UI. 
After a few seconds, sure enough, I can see that the deployment is now completed and if I click on the vanity domain, I see the contents of my application. But let's see the entire process working together by simply making a new commit on the master branch. And I'm going to do that directly on the GitHub UI. I'm going to click on routes, web.php. And instead of returning hello world, I'm going to simply return hello world 2. Now remember, because we are committing these changes directly to the master branch, this by itself should make GitHub Actions to issue a new deployment. Meaning that if I click on my application, I will see a, a yellow badge here, which represents my deployment in progress, and I can simply click on Details to check the deployment output of this action. And one cool thing is that I can actually also check um, all the steps that have been run by this action. For example, one of those steps is check, a, check out the code on the action. Another one is set up the PHP version. Another one is requiring the Vapor CLI tool, which will allow this action to issue a new deployment. And of course, uh, the last one is probably the most important one, is a step that actually issues the deployment. But remember, you can customize the deploy.eml file to actually include extra steps if you want to. So if I click once again on a deploy environment step, I can scroll all the way down and see that uh, this step is also now completed and the action is completed as well. So I can click on deploy environment to see the output and just click on the vanity domain of my application once again. And sure enough, now I'm going to see hello world 2. And that's it about configuring GitHub actions with Vapor.